Welcome back to Family History Fun. This is part two of answering questions for beginners with Liv and Rye. When you go to Family Tree, once again, go back to your tree. And if you change it to Fan Chart, change that to see the Fan way. Chart. And I want to show you. So Ooh, a lot of you are going to run into this problem. Do you see how here, can you make it a little smaller? There you go. See how he has a big full tree and he has one entire line that's empty? That's something you're all going to run into. So do you think that line just doesn't have any family history done? Yeah. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> Even with me as your mom, you'd think there's no, no one's done that family history? No. Probably not, huh? Maybe, yeah. It's probably been done, but it's somewhere. So here's where that living person thing gets complicated. So because um, no, we've never connected the link. For whatever reason, Family Search was able to make the connection for the rest of his lines, but it never connected it on this one. So, so all we have to do is come in here and we're, we want to add parents to my dad. And that's going to make it so that, so click on his, on his name. And now click on him. And we want to add parents. You can do this through their person page like we're going to do. You can do it on the tree like we just did with Ella. Whatever works best, but go ahead and scroll down. Now we're gonna add a parent. So click on add parent right there. Okay, so now we wanna look for my grandpa who's dead. So his name is Rulon, R-U-L-O-N, U-L-O-N. So where the last name is. And then Lyman. Oh. And he's deceased and he's male. I know that he's a boy. <laughs> And then we don't, I don't know his exact birth date, but I do know it's May. Okay, now go ahead and hit next. Let's try. Okay, here it is. Callie, that's it. He was born in 1933, so that confirms it. It shows you the year he was, he died. Um, it shows his parents, which are my grandparents or great grandparents so that's Rulin and Mary so I know that's correct so now all you have to do is click add match now watch what happens when you fill that in to your tree now go back to the tree scroll hit the back button okay now watch what happens <gasps> ba boom your tree oh, is geez. all filled in and then it totally brings everyone else mm -hmm. see so yeah it brings in all those other people Okay, now hit landscape or portrait. Let's go to, let's do portrait just because it's a little different just for fun. Oh, jeez. Okay, so scroll up. We're going to show you how to add it from another screen. Now hit the up button. Okay, now add Joan, J-O-A-N. Okay, and then just put that she's living. And then put next. Next. Okay, create the person and stop. So you'll notice here where it says you, you must create living family members to connect you to your deceased ancestors to protect privacy rights. Only you can see the living people you create in family tree. That is the number one question we get when we're helping people is like, why is it not showing? So just, I know we already said it, but just know that's what it is. It's a living person. So only you can see her. So click create person. Now it, now if you scroll up a little, you can see her parents are still empty, right? Because they, because we didn't yeah. tap into a deceased line. Because since we hadn't added her, yes, it wouldn't have her parents. Yes. So now we want to search for her mom, who is Lita Wilson. Can you just type? Yep. <laughs> and we actually know who her husband is. His name is Lawrence Hans Wilson. You know. I know. Her husband. This is why it's good to have your parents around to help you when you're filling this in. Then I hit next. Now, did it find someone who we think might be it? What do you think? Yes, I think. I can't. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So now what do you do? Click on add match and select the couple because you want to put the grandma and grandpa on it. So let's go back to your fan chart and see what happened to your fan chart. Oh, click refresh. Refresh? Yeah. Voila! Voila! Oh, it's all filled in. Does it go further than this? Yeah, so you can oh my God. you can click on any of your grandparents and change it. So pick a grandparent wait, wait, you want to select. Wait, so we, will they show all of these on the... Um, 
landscape. It will, but you have yeah. to click through to them. Oh, geez. Will this go forever? Not forever. Well, it just depends for, on how full your tree is. Because we haven't lived for Yeah, see that line. Well, let's add. Done. Let's add. We don't know who they are. We would have to do research to do that. So that's actually a really good oh, point. Oh, yeah, because we are way far. Yeah, we're in the 1750s. What? So with these guys, we would have to actually go find some records that told us what their names were and um, things like that. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to keep going. Oh, it goes no further. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Family History Fun with Liv's crew. Hopefully you're having fun with our episodes. We are excited to bring you some more fun ones soon. See you later. Bye.